Alright, so I didn't rinse it off a little bit. I'm debating. You know what? It was green as fuck. So I should actually wash it from this point and then rinse it off every couple of days. I got the cow wash. But the Chris Rock thing. They're still trying to bring that. I still can't gauge. That might be a testament to Will Smith and Chris Rock's acting ability. And Jada Pinkett. It's just... I still can't catch. Yeah, look at all the pollen that came off. Yeah, I still can't gauge was it staged or real. Because now he had a special. And the only reason I even know about it, because they had it on Fox News. Because all the so-called people on our side, they're giving him props too. For going against cancel culture. And, and I already knew. It was like I knew he wasn't going to have the strength. Like uh, Ice Cube do the same thing. He he's not obviously not a comedian, but he it's like he they want to be on our side, but they still don't have the strength because they don't want to be called sellouts or uncle, you know. Cause, and it's not even because Ice Cube was gangster. It, it, none of us ever thought that the whole time. I'm talking about since I was 12 in 80 when they first 87, 86 when I first heard N.W.A. Even then, it, it was just music. You know, anything I did later on, 14, 15, 16, 17, because you wanted to. That's why I said, you know, gangster rap, it was just, that's why, guys, it's just like movies, like Scarface said. You know, Matt Dillon, uh, the Gunsmoke TV show. It's just tough guy shit. Had nothing to do with selling drugs to the community and this and that. It, it, but anyway, let me get, get, go back to what I'm talking about. Uh... They still try to bring this thing up about Will, because now you see videos, even like, uh, y'all might not know, probably don't know who this is, Slim Thug. He's a rapper from Texas. He's talking about, oh, there's a couple of them now. They're talking about, oh, Will, Chris Rock need his ass beat. It, 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 Slim Thug, he's a new age gangster rapper. He came out around the same time as T.I. and all these later rappers, like, uh, that I call later rappers, like T.I. and 50 Cent. They came out like 80, I mean, not 80. 04, 03, you know, they always going to be like, I've been rapping, you know, I ain't talking about how long you've been grinding as a rapper, doing local shows, I'm talking about when you got famous, like T.I., you know, whatever, 50 Cent, whatever, it's been 20 years, yeah, but to me, they're new rappers, because everybody else was older than me, 50 Cent and all them, T.I. is younger than me, and Slim Thug, and, but 50 Cent is my age, or either a year older, but... To me, rappers, well, you know, it's all the older rappers, you know, Ice Cube and Slick Rick, you know, whoever, Run DMC. They, were, you know, we was kids, but even though Ice Cube only like, oh, you know, LL Cool J, all the, they only like Ice Cube only like five years older than me or something like that, because you know he was young too, he's like 18, 17. But the point is, they're trying to, they talk about, oh, he talking about Will, he keep bringing up the act, but it's, everybody, it's not even the fact that Will Smith slapped him on live TV. It's like he said, and that's why I made a video about it when it happened. And, it, it, you know, it's like, it's not against women. It's not, oh, Will Smith protecting his family. This chick told him, like Chris Rock said, we said it back then, to his face. And it's his son's best friend in this house. That That's what it was about. It's like, nigga, you ain't slap him. It don't even matter about Chris Rock. Oh, he's bigger than me. It don't matter about none of that. That's the type of shit niggas get killed for. We learned that as teenagers. I'm talking about way back in the 80s and 90s. Fighting over, that's what, that's why I keep telling you. Gangster rap wasn't misogynistic. It wasn't dissing women. It was telling us what could happen if you, you know, you getting your little heart broke. You gotta, you better let her go. You trying to fight over her. Cause a lot of times she is fucking a nigga that it ain't that he bigger than you. He, you know, that's why she fucking with him. He in the streets. He got money. You know, it's 1988, 89. He got money. You know, it's 1992. You 18. She got, he, he fucking your girl. He a drug, you know, he gon' he don't smoke your ass. Or it's one of us. It's like, cause we, by then you don't respect that type of shit. You know, she, you better check her. If anything, you go slap her. <laughs> you know, like they, like Chris Rock, everybody has said it. She brought you on a TV show. It, like you said, it, you know, I sucked the dick and fucked up, you know, in your house. How do you feel about it? It, it, it? Like everybody said. But some people was like, even that was staged. Because they like, you know, that's how Will Fitz really jumped to movies. 
And I saw that episode when it was new as a teenager. I was about 17. The episode where, his, you know, his dad came and finally, and he was like, well, how come you don't? So everybody's like, Will Smith can make himself cry. So <laughs> when Jada was telling them, it's like the whole thing is a setup. All of Chris Rock, all of them are in on it together. That's the Illuminati shit. All of them. Cause like it, people were, women was pointing out, like you know, Will Smith is an actor. He's not really crying about Jada. They all, you know, freaks big time for all of them. He don't care about that. And that, like I said, that's just, that's because back in the nineties, and he had that movie. I never seen it, but what really made him a movie star was uh, seeing the Fresh Prince. And I remember that because I remember that as a teen. I kind of didn't like it. Because even though I, I, I was, as a kid, I wasn't a Ben Vereen fan, but I knew who he was. And I didn't like him playing that character. I was about 17. I was like, well, why he got to be the dirty guy who did Will Smith dirty? And I'm like, that's Ben Vereen. What are y'all doing? But, you know, I'll never forget that. But everybody, what they didn't forget was Will Smith was when he left. Ben Vereen left him. And he was supposed to, I'm going to do this and that. I take, you know, you coming with me. And then, you know, Will's like, how come he left me? You know, da 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 and, you know, all right, you know, it's good, you know, it's powerful, whatever. Fuck, you know, and that's what blew him up. So a lot of people like, nah, you got to remember, that's fucking Will Smith. He might not even be, you know, he he knew the whole time or was might have been there when she was fucking <laughs> the dude. You know, might have been there the whole time. Who knows what they talking about, the shit they be doing. So this whole thing, the Chris, so I, I, but I can't gauge with, between both of them, Chris Rock or... Will Smith, I can't tell if it's a fake or but I would go with fake the whole thing. I still with the clues about Will Smith, Chris Rock been in the movies since the ninety well, I remember he, New Jack City when that came out, that was like his first one I think. So it's like he been an actor for, for thirty years. Will Smith been acting now about the same amount of time. You know, it's like these dudes are actors. And Jada. Jada's an actor. All of them. They're all actors. All of them. They're actors, professionals. Don't matter if Jada ain't had no movies or is she still an actress. So it's like, but now they're, they're still, but what it is part of the program, they're trying to still make people weak into accepting, letting people dog you out. Like Will Smith supposedly got dogged out by Jada. People are trying to, they're trying to make all of us still into an accepting just being done wrong in everybody men women children that's what i think that's what this is about because now there there's some people chris rock he better quit talking you know he he, he a little man and he, like he said will smith is you know muhammad ali compared to you know that it's like no man see that's what i'm talking about y'all can't fool us because we're not that old yet and we grew up with the real rules that <laughs> He's supposed to still spend, Ben's supposed to divorce Jada. He's supposed to divorce her now or just take it. And, uh, if he really just loved defending Jada and Jada, she's <laughs> like, you gonna, you know, I hate to say it. You gonna hear if this is real and she, you know, you gonna hear a story about Will Smith, you know, breaking news. Will Smith is dead. What? Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, I already knew it. And, you know, when we find out the details, he was fighting, trying to fight some nigga over Jada. But like I said, I don't think it's going to happen because the whole thing is staged. And like they said, I just found out Chris Rock got 20 million up front for this, this one Netflix special. So, and then during the special, they, they everybody, you know, this whole thing is fake because they got a lot of other comedians that I've known. You know, all the comedians are supposed to be speaking out because they can't do comedy no more. They're scared because they, they can't, they don't want to get canceled for saying the wrong thing. So now they're applauding Chris Rock. Da, da, da. It's like, no, because if you watch that, I, I watched it. It's, he do, he's still making these black people feel like they're inferior to, to white folks. He talking about, you know, he even left. He ended with, I, I, the reason I ain't do nothing is because I was raised... And my parents told me never do anything in front of white. I'm like, bitch, stop lying. He's older than me. I never heard that in the 80s. Not just, not from my family, from older dudes in school. Never heard no shit. Of, that, that's not a thing. That's not a black thing. Never do that front in front of the white folks. They're still trying to brainwash black folks that they can't make it. That somebody, the boogeyman is after them. 
The white man is the boogeyman. I don't know no niggas that's scared of a white man. <laughs> like I said, we don't live around. Well, you know, matter of fact, cop just drove by. I got him. It was a white cop. So I'm just saying, but this is a, a big old goddamn Democrat city. We don't live out in the country, even down south. We live in cities, Atlanta, Birmingham, you know, whatever. We don't, Miami, Memphis. Niggas getting killed by niggas to this day, right now. And that's another thing about the Chris Rock special. He up there telling his audience, and they clapping like seals <laughs> about racism and his, his mama had to go. I think that's bullshit. My family was down south back then. Same age as his mama, exact same age. I never heard none of that shit as a kid in the 80s. Never. Born the same, you know, whatever, 47, 45, 46. No, oh, uh, yeah, no, no, nigga. You know, to me and Chris Rock about the same age if he was an older brother than me. So, no, it's like, no, no, I ain't hear no stories like that in the 80s, 90s. So, these people clapping for him, but he's bragging about how his daughter is in Paris and, and going to culinary school. But your kids, and this show was in Baltimore, your daughter literally might get killed and she might got a good job. Just go, you know, we just just going somewhere, carjacked. And literally, why they making that show... Who knows how many people got killed that because it was live Saturday night. That was just this weekend. It was live. We don't even know how many niggas got killed literally while they was filming that show in Baltimore. And they up there clapping about racism. And then the country that made you a millionaire and doing the shit that you doing, you still trying to brainwash other black people that we can't do shit. Unless we some kind of sellout Illuminati Comedian or actor or rapper or whatever athlete the athletes do it too. Uh, LeBron James they all sell out Even supposedly Jordan, you know, whatever did the blood sacrifice remember he sacrificed his dad does the all that shit And that shit that's what was in the streets back in the early 2000 2006. It was a DVD Jennifer they were talking about Jennifer Hudson and all them they did the uh, sacrifice so you know, uh, Michael Jordan, Bill Cosby, both of they people, Bill Cosby, his son died on the side of the road like Michael Jordan's dad died on the side of the road. You know, all these folks, wasn't nothing about racism. It was just about the, the, the you know, all these people having, you know, like like I said, Jennifer Hudson, it was a whole bunch of them. That's why Jennifer Hudson family got killed, because she sacrificed them. <laughs> wasn't no, you know, just whatever. Nothing about racism. And so these these Democrats, you know, like them over there, you know, they're mad because we ain't staying in our place like Democrats want you to. So it's like, no, this shit ain't working. They got they they thought we were all celebrity worshippers. We ain't celebrity worship. We don't do what celebrities say. You know, like Bill Maher, Chris Rock. We're not the rest of them. They're trying to applaud Chris Rock, but he, like I said, if you watch his show, he kept flip flopping. One second he's talking about cancel culture, the next. Uh, second, he's talking about uh, how hard it is in America, racism, da 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 da. It's like, da, 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 da. okay, if y'all believe that shit, you you get what you. Now we ain't even mad no more. We ain't, long as you don't come at us no more, it, it's fine. Y'all can believe what you want. Like I said, he he bragging about his folks got all this money and his mama can fly to Paris and the rest of y'all getting killed up and this and that. I, I, I we don't care no more. And it ain't, oh, they're human. You can't even try that. They're human beings. Don't say nothing bad. Nope. 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 It, it's ancient. It's in the Bible. It's not just in the Bible. Been told over and over. Y'all been told over and over and over again. And y'all still supporting these people. So we don't care that you, you ain't got no car. This and that. These folks, y'all, and y'all supporting them and clapping for them. And that's fine. You want to support them? That's fine. But you can't hold the rest of us back. And you can't get mad when we laugh at you releasing balloons because your little, your nephew or your grandson or somebody got shot up. <laughs> you know, it's like, hey, we all the ones, and now you want justice. We want justice. We want justice. And they, they literally tell you that they letting criminals go. In Baltimore, they're still doing the same shit. They, they signing new laws that uh, they think, I think they're making it that they got to be. So anybody under 25 can murder somebody and they can't be charged as an adult. That's a real thing. Look it up. They're trying to make that a law. So you get, they, it's just a free-for-all. 
And this is real shit. This is not me. We're mad. We're not mad because Trump didn't win. We're telling you they're literally trying to kill all of us. So they get they're trying to they that's the that's just the test grounds. If they, if it passes in Baltimore, they're trying to make it everywhere. 25 year old can just come up, car, tell you get out your car, blow you away. Even if you do get out, even if you say, okay, I'm getting out, he can blow you away and he ain't gonna get charged. These folks are fucking crazy. But anyway, let me finish washing my car. You know, y'all, this is crazy as hell.